In quantum field theory, a branch of theoretical physics, crossing is the property of scattering amplitudes that allows antiparticles to be interpreted as particles going backwards in time. Crossing states that the same formula that determines the S matrix elements and scattering amplitudes for particle a display style a to scatter with x display style x and produce particle b display style b and y display style y will also give the scattering amplitude for a plus b plus x display style script style mathroom a plus bar mathroom b plus mathroom x to go into y display style mathroom y or for b display style script style bar mathroom b to scatter with x display style script style mathroom x to produce y plus a display style script style mathroom y plus bar mathroom a the only difference is that the value of the energy is negative for the antiparticle the formal way to state this property is that the antiparticle scattering amplitudes are the analytic continuation of particle scattering amplitudes to negative energies. The interpretation of this statement is that the antiparticle is in every way a particle going backwards in time. History Murray Gell-Mann and Marvin Leonard Goldberger introduced crossing symmetry in 1954. Crossing had already been implicit in the work of Richard Feynman, but came to its own in the 1950s and 1960s as part of the analytic S-matrix program. Topic. Overview Consider an amplitude M Phi P plus display style mathcal m phi p plus right arrow. We concentrate our attention on one of the incoming particles with momentum p. The quantum field phi p display style phi p corresponding to the particle is allowed to be either bosonic or fermionic. Crossing symmetry states that we can relate the amplitude of this process to the amplitude of a similar process with an outgoing antiparticle. Phi minus p display style bar phi p replacing the incoming particle phi p display style phi p m phi p plus equals m plus phi minus p display style mathcal m phi p plus right arrow equals mathcal m right arrow plus bar phi p in the bosonic case, the idea behind crossing symmetry can be understood intuitively using Feynman diagrams. Consider any process involving an incoming particle with momentum p. For the particle to give a measurable contribution to the amplitude, it has to interact with a number of different particles with momenta k 1 k 2 k n Display style k underscore one k underscore two k underscore n via a vertex. Conservation of momentum implies k equals one n q k equals p. Display style sum underscore k equals one carrot n q underscore k equals p. 
In case of an outgoing particle, conservation of momentum reads as k equals 1 n q k equals minus p display style sum underscore k equals 1 caret n q underscore k equals p thus replacing an incoming boson with an outgoing antiboson with opposite momentum yields the same s matrix element in fermionic case, one can apply the same argument but now the relative phase convention for the external spinors must be taken into account. Example For example, the annihilation of an electron with a positron into two photons is related to an elastic scattering of an electron with a photon Compton scattering by crossing symmetry. This relation allows to calculate the scattering amplitude of one process from the amplitude for the other process if negative values of energy of some particles are substituted. Topic. See also. Feynman-Stuckelberg interpretation. Feynman diagram. Reg theory. Detailed balance.